And what you gonna do? Oh yeah! Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at Ringside Collectibles, Mattel, Ultimate Outsiders. Hey, I got a question. Why do our voices echo because we're evil? Um, I don't know. It's like a weird filmation thing they used to do, remember? Yeah, but they did it with He-Man too. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. I don't know, it just our voices started echoing as soon as uh, we started being evil. That's weird, you know. The evil choice is to pour the wine in the houseplant. Huh? Yeah, you know, pour the wine in the houseplant. Where are you getting that from? Don't you watch Agatha all along? I can't say that I have. Yeah, well, you know, all the good people were drinking the wine and he was pouring it into the houseplant and then it would refill because you didn't actually drink it. I'm really not caring for what you're telling me about. Yeah, I, I think that's where a lot of people got dropped off on that series. I mean, it's for middle-aged wine moms anyway. Okay, uh, now let's get to the outsiders. Oh yeah, wrestling sucks. Well, that's a bold statement. And Mattel sucks too. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, kind of obvious here. Um, a weird thing for you to say. Why, because I'm evil? Never mind. Let's move on. This packaging is really awesome. I mean, look at that. It's just like really nice. And inside you get both members of the Outsiders in individual boxes. Really nice presentation. Oh, okay. I'll give them that. They got presentation. So what? Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. I heard that they're uh, having a uh, toy show at the Senior Citizen Center. Are you trying to say something? Oh, I just figured you might want to kill two birds with one stone, you know, check out the Senior Citizen Center while you're looking at toys. Yeah, okay. One really confusing thing on the box is they do show Nash with his lighter hair later on in his WCW career, but the figure has dark hair. And if it's from the air, I think it is, it's when Nash still had darker hair. Wow, it's weird how it lightened up. Yeah, well, if you look at the beard, you can tell he's getting a little gray. Oh, yeah, but don't tell him that. Oh, okay, I'll keep my mouth up. First up, let's look at the bad guy. Reza from, I mean, Scott Hall. Ha uh ha, -huh, you got fooled. Okay, Scott Hall looks really good. He's got the Outsiders on the back of his uh, vest and around his tights, just like he did when he was in WCW. Hall comes with two shirts. Actually, both of them come with two shirts. Uh, one is the Outsider shirt, and one is the typical NWO shirt. For life, baby. And Hall comes with the spooky hands that match his spooky expression. Atani used to do. Um, and if you get creative, you could use these as gliding hands when he's walking out to the ring. Huh, that's a pretty good double use of the hand there. I've got to give you a prop. Of course, both men come with the two sweet hands. Well, and naturally. You know, the one good thing about this set is these are bad guys. Yeah, it's a weird phenomenon. They're so bad, you can cheer for them. Wait, what? They're supposed to hate the bad guys. Nah, not in this case. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, that means people like them. That means they're actually good guys, so yeah. Um, I just ruined the mood. Next up is Nash. 
Both men come with tag team belts as well. Yeah, so um, this is his red gear. That's kind of a weird choice. Yeah, he was more known for the black gear, but eh, you know, they decided to do something different. And I don't mind it. Okay, whatever. One great thing this figure can do, he can do the leg up pose in the corner, which is one of Nash's eh, staple moves. Yeah, it looks like I would hurt. Well, yeah, it's wrestling, it's supposed to hurt. I thought I was fake. Shh, don't tell them that. I am. Now, Nash has three different heads. He's got a yelling head, which is, eh, it's not so great. And just the stoic head. Both the stoic and the smiling heads are pretty darn good. Well, I guess uh, they're okay, yeah. Now, of course, these guys come with the articulation you expect from Ultimates, Butterfly Joints, Toe Joints even, and good Toe Joints that don't just, like, wobble and cause a figure to fall over. Yeah, I've heard about that. Pretty pitiful. With this, you can get your whole NWO back together. Oh, okay, yeah. They look really tough and bad. I like it. Yeah, but people cheer them. I don't like it anymore. Now, this is a little weird, and it took me a while to take for it, but I finally found it. This looks like the symbol Nash wore on the back of his vest during Hawk Wild, in which they fought Sting and Luke. Are you 100% sure about that? Well, no, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I did find a clip of the following night on Nitro. And Kevin Nash walked out to the ring, and that symbol was on the back of his vest. So, it makes me think he was probably wearing it in Hog Wild, too. Good deductive reasoning. I hate you for it. That's fine. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm evil, too. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have the same hit, does it? Eh. And just for a little bit of comparison, uh, here is uh, Nash with Diesel from the, uh, from the Vault Collection. And Hall with uh, Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition. Wow, they look like they're looking in the mirrors. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Who knew Nash and Hall look just like Diesel and Razor? It's a uncanny. Oh no, a great pack. One of my favorite tag teams of all time. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty good since wrestling is fake and all. Ow, oh, ow. No, no, no. Oh. And these guys suck. Yeah, they do. Forget it. These wrestlers, to hell. I was going to wrap it up, guys. Don't forget to eat shit and die. Yeah, because we're evil. <laughs>